Hello and welcome along to Mondo Chalavet Movies, my name is John and this video is going to be what I've picked up from HMV and CEX in the past couple of days but first I've got an unboxing for you. So I received this package from my good friend Dave Ramsden and sorry for not getting to it sooner but obviously with my other PC sort of on the blink um, I didn't get a chance to get to it till now. So I want to say thank you to Dave and Jill for sending this across to me. So Dave has sent me Look at that. Wow, I wasn't expecting that, if I'm honest. This is by a death metal band that Dave, he knows the, the people in the death metal band. And the band is called, well, the Black Command. And the album looks like it's called Written in Torment or the other way around. Hello, it's just me quickly saying that the band is actually called Written in Torment and not Black Command. I've got them the wrong way around on all of this video. So I want to just say, apologize for that. And also I'll leave a link down to this um, video down below. And actually it's pretty good. And it's really like good black metal, which is what I like. It's got some great chord changes, which is what, for me what's all about. So just want to put the record straight on that. So back to the video. And also, I don't know if you can see, it's been signed as well. So that's amazing. And I'll get into this and have a look at it. I was expect. I know that Dave was said that he was, had a friend who had a black metal band, and they're going to send me a CD. I wasn't expecting it to look like this. This is sort of like a, a plush version. Oh, look at that! So this is amazing to receive this. I was not expecting it to look like this. Now this is good because this can actually go on the shelves. Wow! Can you believe it? But yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to listen to this now, and I'm going to get in touch with Dave who's been waiting patiently for me to get into this album and I'll tell him what I think of it and also and pass all my thanks on to the band Black Command for sending me this autographed version of their CD which is something something else I've never seen one in this sort of packaging as well so if I can find any videos of Black Command I'll link them down below so you can hear what this uh, album sounds like but I'm a huge fan of black metal so yeah so once again Thanks to Dave, Jill, and also the members of Black Command. Cheers. So in CEX the other day, I've been looking for this movie for such a long time. And it's one of those movies that you think, I'll just walk in and find it in CEX for literally a pound. Couldn't find it anywhere. And I've sort of come, it's come to pass that it's really out of print. And I've stopped looking for it. And then it was in there for eight pounds, which is a lot more than I thought I'd have to pay for it. But of course, with it being out of print, you've just got to pay what you've got to pay. So I picked up for eight pounds, Scary Movie 4. Now, I love Scary Movie 3 and 4. Scary Movie 2 is great as well. 1's all right, and 5 is well. But I've got the whole lot apart from this one, and this was the only one that was kind of waiting for me to pick it up. And of course, it's one of those things where you think it's easy got, and it's not. It's amazing how much many of these movies are kind of strangely out of print when you would not think they are. But I think that the, the, the Zucker brothers have something to do with who made Airplane have something to do with 3 and 4. That's what makes them my favourite of this franchise. But 2 is absolutely brilliant as well. And of course, the butler who has got the hand is the star of the show for that movie. It's just it's just amazing at all. That Actually, 2 is, is a great film. So I can't wait to get into them. I've been waiting for this one to get this one so I can wait, watch the whole five of them. So really excited to pick that up. The fourth and final chapter of the trilogy. Wow. So that's Scary Movie 4. So I'm a big fan of stand-up comedy and I've got quite a few stand-up comedy DVDs and I watch them quite regularly actually, although most of them are now on YouTube. And funny enough, I'm not a, I am not was not a fan of this comedian in one, any way, shape or form. I thought his stuff was a bit too avant-garde for me and it just didn't make me laugh at all and the, bit, the small clips I've seen of him. And some stuff was on YouTube and I watched a couple of, uh, sort of snippets from these DVDs and I thought, no it is, they're not that bad. So I watched a few more and they were really good actually, the bits that I saw. So I thought, well, I'll just go and get a DVD of his stand-up. And I couldn't find one anywhere for a sensible price. And the, the quality of the stuff on YouTube is pretty like poor. And I thought, I've got to get the DVD set. So there's a DVD set of seven of his stand-ups in one box. And if you want to get it, this is a heads up for you. I don't think you would pay this. But if you want to get it off of Amazon, it's 47 quid. So for £2.50 in CEX, I got Eddie Izzard 7. This is seven of his stand-ups. And I'll tell you what, this packaging is absolutely incredible. I mean, take a look at this. Yeah. So you've got probably more or less everything that Eddie has put out. I'll tell you what, this is in perfect condition. The disc as well 
look they haven't been even opened out or looked at. So, highly recommend, actually this is the one I've been watching. I'm going to watch the, this is the one I've seen a clips of. And some of the stuff he does is a bit strange, but I quite like it. So I thought, why not? I'll get this. And it's really interesting to get this for £2.50. When if you went to Amazon, if you wanted to get it, and I don't imagine anyone is going to do this, you're going to pay £47, whatever, 95 But if you go and look in the, the ones that are like for uh, second hand in here, the £2.50. So there you go. So I'm quite interested to get into that. And it's, there's nothing better, I think, than just sticking a stand up on just in the afternoon, just getting through them and seeing, you know, just having a bit of a laugh. So, yeah, one that I never thought I would get, that's Eddie Izzard 7. Next up from HMV in the premium collection sale, there's a couple here that I've been really eager to get, obviously in the two for £15 sale. So first I picked up King Creole. Now I have been on a huge Elvis kick watching his movies. The The funny thing is about when you go on to um, Sky Movies and you say, I'll just watch a few Elvis films, you'd be amazed at my how many there's on there. And you'd also be amazed by how many you've got to pay for. And I thought, nah, I don't think so. So anyway, I thought, when I see them out in the wild, especially I knew this one was on the premium collection, it's a 4K remaster as well. And the remaster is spectacular. So this movie's black and white. I think this is Elvis's maybe third movie. And I want to show you actually in here, he gets a poster, which is a nice poster. I was thinking about, I don't know how the devs would feel about this. But I would like to get an Elvis post of some description and put it up. I mean, this isn't going to be too obtrusive. I don't know where I'd put actually. My walls are quite full. But the thing I would like to do with this, actually, the postcards in here are, are something else. Actually, to put all them up, I don't, I don't know. I just think they look all look amazing. I mean, look, look at this. There's, I mean, I've never seen anything like this on them. Um, the premium collection that the standard of these um postcards are absolutely incredible you get that in the back so yeah this this movie for me is um a one that i like elvis's movies yes the the really are bad at times but this one is quite uh, as like one of his best movies actually a proper movie you can say this cover looks like it's more like a romp but it's not it's quite a serious movie actually it's got some great actors in here as well so yeah, so but the picture quality on it is just absolutely stunning. And on Sky Movies, when I get an HD version for free of the Elvis movies, they always look really good. And it would be great if these could come out even on 4K. Well, on 4K would be amazing. This one would look amazing in 4K because it looks that good on, on the 4K remaster Blu-ray. And I'm thinking there's no way they could watch this one up. So yeah, so... Because I got that, obviously, the two for £15, I got, as well, to go along with that, another movie I've been after for quite a while, Waiting for Guffman. Now, this is done by Christopher Guest, who is actually a stars in This Is Spinal Tap, one of my favourite movies of all time. And what he does is he gets his bunch of sort of, like, actors, and he acts in quite a lot of this, is, was it? Um, there's something about where they're playing a folk band, uh, A Mighty Wind or something like that. And there's quite a few of these movies, and I've seen them all, apart from Waiting for Guffman. So I thought, that's a day one purchase. There is a poster in here, but the poster is exactly the same as this cover here. So when I put it on, I thought, and I'm going to watch it, obviously, but I thought, mm, the quality on here isn't as good as I thought it was going to be. It is very grainy. But it is what it is. You can't really do anything about that. But really happy to get those two into the collection. I'm a big fan of the premium collection, but I wouldn't get them all. But the ones that I like, I really like. And this one here, if you're a fan of Elvis, do know that you're getting some a spectacular version of this. So if you're looking for trouble, you came to the right place. That's King Creole and Waiting for Guffman. So next up from HMV, I bought something that I swore blind I would never get. And it kept looking at us and it's been in sale for ages. And I thought, you know what it is, I'm just going to get it. So I got on Blu-ray X. I love this film. I can't get enough of it. It is so good. But, of course, I know it's out on 4K somewhere. I don't know why A24 take the time to release any movies on 4K in the UK. And also why they put it out in a sort of pretty lacklustre bargain basement release. And it shouldn't be like that because this film is amazing. Now, I think, obviously, I'm going to get uh, Pearl. And Pearl's coming out next month, I believe, which is taking forever as well. But 
That'll be out in Blu-ray. It has got a slipcover. I will get it. But really, I do want to get these two on 4K. Probably, I would imagine, when the third film comes out, Maxine, this will there will be a box set somewhere. And I would imagine if Maxine's any as good as X and Pearl, it'll be one of my favourite franchise, horror franchises of all time. So didn't really want to buy it, but I have put it on. It looks pretty good. I kind of complain about the quality on it. And I will. it will be a sort of placeholder to watch until I get a 4K down the line somewhere. So that's X. So as I was leaving HMV, I've been looking for this movie for so long, and I've just given up that I would find it in the shop. I was actually going to order it offline. And I picked up for 16 99 Miami Blues. It was just sort of sat there, and I went, whoa, that's, that's Miami Blues. I can't believe it's there. So this movie is one of my favourite movies of all time. It's got a stellar casting. It's got Fred Ward as a policeman who, for some reason, has got a problem with his dentures. It's actually got Alan Ags Baldwin here, who plays an absolute psychopath. If you want to see a good portrayal of an absolute lunatic, look no further than this one. And we also got Jennifer Jason Lee in a great part. Not go too much into a part, but it's it's a great a great performance. Now, this is from the, the uh, label Radiance Films. Now, on a side note, I've actually received from Radiance Films some advanced copies of movies. More about that in a second. But this movie here, this package here, it's got everything you could want. It's got reversible art. I do prefer the art on the front, but you have got reversible art, which is a sort of original cover, which I remember. And you've got a great booklet in here. This is the limited edition, which is limited to 3,000. And you also get this this sort of little spine thing, which you can take out if you wanted to, but I actually like that in there. And it's spine number number five there of the Radiance Films. So this movie has always been ultra hard to get in the UK on Blu-ray. In fact, I've given up looking for it. And when this came out, I thought, I've got to get it. And I'm so pleased to pick it up in the shop as well. Actually, it's limited to, yeah, 3,000. And it's got some special features on there as well. And the picture quality on here is stunning as well. Actually, there's a website for you if you want to go and have a look at Radiance Films. If I can get out in the shot, there you go. And what I'll do is I'll leave a link down below to when Serial at Midnight had a face-to-face -face conversation with Francesco Simeone from Radiance Films, who's sort of runner of films. He was actually used to work for Arrow as well. So that video is great. It's like a deep dive into what Radiance Films is all about. So... I've got here, this is the movie that's going to come out quite soon. It's called Yakuza Graveyard. So I've watched Yakuza Graveyard, and I'm a big fan of Yakuza movies in general, actually. You, uh, Arrow have released quite a few of them. And I've also got another one as well, which is, hasn't come out yet. I think it's called Arabiato, I believe. And that was previously released by Vinegar Syndrome as well. And I've got another few discs as well, which have been released, but I want to go out and get them. I've watched this one. And I will watch Arabiato as well. And I'll do a video probably and tell you what I thought of those two movies. So you can see what they're like before you go out and buy them when they get released this year. But really getting back to this one, this is a spectacular edition. And I'm so pleased to pick it up as well because I've been after this on Blu-ray for such a long time. And it's great to see them actually going into HMV now as well. And I think uh, places like FOP as well, I think FOP will be big on the um, the Radiance films. So if you want to find out a little bit more about Radiance Films, check out that link down below. So thanks for watching, especially you, Dave, Jill and Black Command. You take care and I will see you on the next video. Cheers.